Today, we're discussing hero stats. And I want to cover what they are, how they work, and what they add to the game. Right now, there are four main hero stats. There's armor, there's max health, there's strength, and there's speed. The Bazaar has a lot of things going on during the game. Each player has a bunch of items, a bunch of skills, and we didn't want players to have to read all of these things in order to understand what was going on. One of the main advantages of having these stats like max health and strength and speed is that they distill everything down to one single number that players can look at. It's very easy to look at a number and say, oh, this player has 35 strength, they're quite strong. Another reason that hero stats are really good for the game is that we want players to have the opportunity to feel like they are doing the strength build or they're doing the max health build. They're being very tanky, they're being very strong, or they can be very fast and have a lot of speed. So we think that player stats are very helpful when giving players many diverse builds to choose from. So let's get back to max health for a second. Even though this is the simpler stat, it still has a lot of gameplay implications. We don't want all characters to have access to these stats equally. For max health, we think that Pig should be the best character at acquiring a lot of it. I mean, it makes sense. He's a giant pig man, he's huge, he looks like he should be tanky, he should be difficult to take down. He just looks like a character that should have a lot of health. So Pygmalion has more access to gaining max health than most of the other characters in the game. One item that works really well when you're stacking a lot of max health is Lion Cane, which does more damage based on how much health you have. All right, let's move on to strength. The way that strength works is that each point of strength you have increases the damage of all your weapons by one. A player with eight strength has all of their weapons dealing eight extra damage. One of our main gameplay goals in the bazaar is to allow players very context-based decision-making. That is to say, once they have one ability or one item, we want this to inform their future decisions, and we want them to have the opportunity to create powerful synergies and combos with each other. Strength is really good at this because it works with weapons and weapons only, so you need to have weapons in order to capitalize on your strength. Strength works best when you're using your weapons all the time. It works better with many small cooldowns than with one large cooldown because the bonus is applied each time you use one of your weapons. Here are a few examples of items that synergize with strength. One of them is the simple yo-yo. It's a small weapon, it only takes one slot on your board, and it has a very low cooldown, which means that each time you use it, its damage is increased by the strength of your character. Another item that synergizes really well with strength are the brass knuckles. Currently, and this is subject to change, the brass knuckles get five times bonus from your strength rather than the standard one times. Go hit them, guys. So overall, strength is good when you're buying weapons, especially lots of weapons or weapons with low cooldown. All right, let's move on to armor. The way that armor works is that at the start of each fight, you get a shield equal to your armor value. This makes you really strong in the PvE phase of the game. Because you're starting each fight with a shield, you're gonna lose fewer points of health during the fight. In some cases, you'll take almost no damage at all. This allows you to do a great job of farming up and collecting rewards, which you can then use to make a strong build for your PvP fight at the end of the day. What's really cool about this is that armor is a combat stat that affects how you choose your encounters each day, fundamentally changing your decision process so that you can maximize your earnings. One example of an item that synergizes really well with armor is the fishing net. It gives you a piranha in each fight. This is awesome with armor because in each fight you're getting a piranha and you take less damage. The armor is allowing you to go farm or fish as much as you want. Finally, let's talk about speed. Speed is by far the most complicated of these hero stats, but it's also pretty interesting. Most of the items in our game have cooldowns, which are visually represented by this bar that moves upwards as the item is charging. When the bar reaches the top, the item activates and uses its effect. What speed does is it makes that bar move faster, meaning your items will fire earlier and more often. The best description of speed is that it makes your items charge faster by a percentage equal to the amount of speed you have. Your item's cooldown is equal to their base cooldown multiplied by 100 divided by 100 plus your speed. Of course, you don't have to do any of this math yourself, the game calculates it all for you. For example, take Jabali and Longbow. It has a base cooldown of 12 seconds, meaning that at zero speed, its cooldown will be exactly that, 12 seconds. At 100 speed, the cooldown will be half, down to six seconds, and at 300 speed, it'll be all the way down to a three second cooldown. One of the main purposes of speed in our game is to make players move at different paces. Before we had speed, there were a lot of fights where both players' items would charge up 
and then they would all go off at the same time. This had a few problems. First of all, there was a lot of visual clutter on the screen when several items were all going off simultaneously with all of their visual effects playing. Another annoying thing about fights like this was that it felt like there were long periods of waiting where both players were just sitting there charging up waiting for their next wave of attacks. One of the things that speed does really nicely is that it helps spread out these cooldowns. If players have even slightly different amounts of speed, their cooldowns are now staggered, which makes fights more engaging and less predictable for players. Another great thing about speed is that it can lead to some interesting asymmetric fights. If one player has a lot of speed, but the other player has more max health or strength, it's very interesting to watch a fight where one player gets to hit first, but the other player strikes back for either much more damage or they have the tankiness to absorb the first hit before launching their own counterattack. Our goal with these hero stats is to give players different strategies to explore and different ways to play the bazaar. And of course, we'll be back on another Friday with another episode of The Making of the Bazaar.